some deadbeats, right? They're gone. All their crap is still in there. But if you guys actually look at this footage, look at it closely, like really pay attention to this, like it's really not that bad. It's not really going to require like a huge major renovation or anything, right? Like, yeah, you got to trash it out, get a dumpster, and I'm sure we're probably repainting the unit. Oh, dude, they got a little target thing for the Nerf gun. Oh, yeah. Right there on the wall. Yeah, this is mostly just trash. The roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, all new. Last like three or so years, right? If you look at the kitchen countertop, the kitchen cabinets, right? This is like fairly nice and like high end. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all, I got something for you that looks, looks a little rough, and it is rough, but if you actually dig deeper and you actually, like, look through the crap, like, literally crap, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of good stuff happening here, right? Check this one out. Uh, 470 Celtic, Akron, right? 84.9. Now, when you get this thing rent ready, this is going to be a Section 8 rental bringing in a cool $1,200 a month, right? And at first glance, right, when you first look at this property, it looks crummy. It looks shitty. You're like, ah, what's going on, right? The seller just evicted their tenants, some deadbeats, right? They're gone. All their crap is still in there. But if you guys actually look at this footage, look at it closely, like really pay attention to this, like it's really not that bad. It's not really going to require like a huge major renovation or anything, right? Like, yeah, you got to trash it out, get a dumpster, and I'm sure we're probably repainting the unit, right? But outside of that, are we really going to have to do like an excessive amount of things to this? No, right? It's got like brand new mechanicals, man. Like the roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, all new. Last like three or so years, right? If you look at the kitchen countertop, the kitchen cabinets, right? This is like fairly nice and like high end uh, when it comes to the Section 8 like spectrum here, right? So we actually have like a lot of good bones, a lot of good stuff going on here with this particular property, right? It just don't show well, obviously. We got an out-of-state investor. Uh, they were working with somebody to manage it, like, and I think they kind of flaked out on them, right? It was like a newer out-of-state investor, and I tell you guys this kind of stuff all the time, man. If you guys don't have your team in place when you do out-of-state investing, you can run into situations like this, right? The guy he had working for him, you know, tenant stopped paying rent, had to evict him. Guy he had working for him, that whole relationship flaked out, I guess, so now he's just kind of left with the bag, and he's like, screw it, dude, I'm done. I'm out of this, right? So that is going to create an opportunity for you guys, though, right? Because, like, you guys looking at this, you're like, oh, yeah, it's going to scare off a lot of other buyers keep the price down but in reality if you like literally just came in here and, and looked at this the rehab is not going to be as big as one would anticipate right so it's scaring off all the owner occupants right who would drive the pricing up and it's really going to allow you guys uh, to come in there and pick up a great deal uh pretty pretty quick rehab right just go in get rid of all that shit fix it up paint it up and then boom twelve hundred dollars a month in section eight cheddar this is turnkey as it gets, dude. You got all friggin' new mechanicals. It's very rare, right? If you guys come to this market, Cleveland market, Akron market, any anywhere in like, honestly, like most of the markets in Ohio, right? You're always dealing with incredibly old housing stock, right? Like Toledo, Cleveland, Akron, Columbus, lots of old housing stock, right? Like this house is 1928. So very rarely when you're dealing with housing stock that's around 100 years old here in Ohio, are you having the opportunity to pick something up that's going to have all new mechanicals already in place for you? And a very, very rarely are you ever able to do so for a price of well under $100,000, right? So with all that 
that said, if anybody wants to take this sucker down, start cashing in those government guaranteed rent checks, send your email to my team. Send an email with your offer to my team, I should say, right? Send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to pay cash, include the amount you want to offer and attach your proof of funds. If you want to finance, because you could probably still not have any issue financing this, right? Yeah, it's dirty, it's grimy, it's filled with crap, but that it's not going to inhibit a bank uh, from from closing a loan on this one. So we're going to take finance offers on this thing too, man. Send those to sales at holdenwise.com. Include your pre-approval letter. If you don't have... Uh, a lender you're working with and you need us to refer you one, we can do so. Just let us know. We'll shoot you our list. And this one is going to be an earner. And if before uh, you even send those offers, if you guys actually want to physically tour the property so you can get in there and like really hammer down on your scope of work what you're going to need to do to this thing uh, to get it rent ready, uh, that's totally fine. We'll get you in there as well. Just shoot us an email and we will set you up for an appointment. Let's go. I didn't even see this. It's got a huge backyard. Yeah. Well, not huge, but... I don't think this is decent size. No, probably not. Oh, that's because, you know... Yeah. God's not knocking up here anymore. Is it done? I, I thought you were pro air conditioner and window. Oh. Cool. Close that door. Don't be on camera. You're not part of the turbo team. So many Nerf guns. Take that now. Get the stash. Fuck yeah, boys. We're gonna have so many, so many fun times. Go upstairs and then we'll come back around for the yeah. basement. Yeah, and then I can just start to go to the basement. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's where the railing was. Is this the window that's broken? Oh, uh, it's one of them. It's not, this one I don't think is broken. It's just, uh, just okay. drafty. The upstairs window is broken. Oh, no. No. Dude, they got a little target thing for the Nerf guns. Yeah, really? Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Right there in the wall. Yeah, this is mostly just trash, but condition-wise, it looks not too bad. Yeah, no, the units are in okay shape. It's, yeah, it's mostly cosmetic shit. Oh, there's your hot water tank. Yep, he was hiding from us. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.